He's one of the most notorious cybersecurity entrepreneurs in the world who made millions off of his antivirus software. In 2012, amid allegations of murder, he fled his then home of Belize to Guatemala, where he faked a heart attack to avoid deportation. He eventually made his way back into the U.S. and rose to prominence once again as a 2016 Libertarian presidential candidate. To this day, he remains a controversial figure, and he's here with me now. John McAfee? McAfee, but it doesn't matter. For people watching at home in their mother's basements, uh, they don't necessarily see that you have can I reveal that you have security guards? Of course, absolutely. So you have Everybody one, knows it. two, three gentlemen. Actually, four if Jimmy's here. Do you fear death? <laughs> no, not at all. Despite the military presence around yeah, you? But th that doesn't mean I fear it. That simply means I choose not to voluntarily wander into it. Let's talk about McAfee 2.0. What's that? You now. I would call it 400.0 or something. I mean, I have reinvented myself. But you call it too, that's fine. That, that would be the newsman's perspective. News person. News person. What does that mean? Uh, women also work in the news. So newsman is kind of reductive. I know, but listen, you need, to, you need to cut me just a little slack because number one, I am 72. You don't look it. You look like you're in your mid-40s. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, in that case. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call it news lady. Well, that's also condescending. But news person, you're right. You know why? It's an extra f***ing syllable. Too much effort to make 52% of the population see themselves in an aspirational way. I, please, I apologize. You're putting me down tremendously well, and, and I, I, admire, I admire your intelligence and, and drive. You recently announced that you were running for president yes. in 2020. Why? I ran in 2016. I didn't succeed to the level that I, that I desired. For those who don't know, what is a libertarian other than a white guy too cheap to pay for birth control? <laughs> a libertarian. You are a free individual. Free to do and think and believe as you choose. In 2016, you lost to Gary Johnson. Yes. How did that feel to lose the unpopular vote? It didn't feel like anything. I had, I had a good nine months of national attention because really, that's all that matters to me. Did you think Trump was gonna be president? Yes, I hoped he was actually because the alternative was not very palatable to me. Did you and think he- I will not tell you why because it will <laughs> implicate me. In horrific Sounds situations. like you're asking me to inquire, but I'm not I going am. to. I am actually, because I'm not sure I'm going to say it or not. Do well, it sounds understand? like you're egging me on to ask I you. Am. I want to respect your privacy. I am actually, because I'm not sure I will say it. I've never said it ever, ever. Well, if you not want in, me not to. Not in six f***ing years since I left Belize have I ever stated why. Do you want to? Absolutely. Okay, well then, you're welcome. Okay, so then, when I went on the run in Belize, I had friends in the U.S. Embassy in Belize. I knew I was coming down. I'm not stupid. I had arranged with the head of security. I was going to come in. He said, sir, we have it from the highest authority. We are not to allow you entry into the U.S. Embassy. Understand me. Who was the highest authority of the State Department? Hillary Clinton. I'm an American citizen with a f***ing American passport. I'm sorry. I'm not wanted in America. I've got no crimes in America. Is it not a reason to say, I don't think I'm going to vote for you? And yet you're here now. For a month and a half, I was on the run. The reason that the government wanted to collect me was that after they had raided my property in 2012 in the jungle, shot my dog, abused me, destroyed a half million dollars worth of my property over a bogus charge, I was pissed off. And so I, I donated uh, to many secretaries within the government laptop computers, really nice ones, that were preloaded with viral spyware. Within a week, the entire government computer system was in, under my control. I was watching, monitoring, listening. I was looking for information that they had set me up for that raid. I didn't find that. I did find out that the Minister of National Defense was the largest drug trafficker in all of Central America. 
and the Ministry of Immigration the largest human trafficker. We don't want to get killed by them either, so we're probably not going to care that. That's fine. It was getting a little hot in John McAfee's compound, so we decided to step outside. Cheers. To you. To you. Let's get into Bitcoin. Okay. Explain Bitcoin to me in terms you would use if it were real. It is real. You tweeted that if the price of Bitcoin doesn't go to a million dollars by 2020... I will eat my member, yes. You will eat your own Eat my dick. No, I may choose the mode if I choose to get a, a Bangkok prostitute uh, and ask her, would you please eat my dick over the next five years? That's fine. That's different than eating your own dick. Is it now? Because if a Bangkok prostitute ate your dick, you wouldn't be eating your own dick. Do I not have the privilege of, of uh, subordinating my task to a subordinate? To someone who doesn't know a lot about Bitcoin. Yes. It sounds like you, John McAfee, want to eat your own Eating my dick is not, not something that, that is, is, uh, is difficult. For me eating it, I have no interest in doing that. So it isn't that you, John McAfee, want to eat your own dick. It's that you believe in the power of Bitcoin, so much so that you'll put your on the table, chop it up, put it in your mouth, swallow. If Bitcoin does not... If it doesn't reach at least a million dollars by the end of 2020. What if, God forbid, you get prostate cancer, have to remove your dick anyway? Well, I won't be able to eat it, will I? Well, you can have the surgeon put it aside and then you can eat it, but well, either I, way... I don't think people would expect me to eat a two-year-old dead dick. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If John McAfee is to eat a dick, it's going to be the freshest And right eat it away. raw like I eat sushi. Farm to table, to mouth. Farm to table, to mouth. If you could murder someone else, who would it be and why? It would be the entire leadership of the Sinaloa cartel. Off the record, did you kill your neighbor in Belize? I did not. Why don't we take a bathroom break, keep your mic on, Feel free to. <laughs> Keep your mic on so that we can hear you while you're in the bathroom talking to your wife about murdering everybody, including all the people here on the set, right? No. Uh, that was funny. I'm sorry. That was a joke. It's so funny if you and didn't all have I have done this guns. so many times. Do you think that I would forget that I am wired and mic'd and I'm going to say something while I'm in the bathroom? Please, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. But go ahead. Let's say I'm a female voter. I'm fed up with both the Democrats and the Republicans. I don't know you're wanted for murder in Belize. How do you win my vote? Well, first of all, I'll tell you, I fled Belize because they were wanting to collect me for a person of that interest. Belize, That's a person all. person of interest. But I'm not a politician, and I don't have to be one. I'm just a human being running for president. What are your thoughts on the Me Too movement? The Me Too movement. Do you believe that alleged victims of assault should be believed? Well, let me tell you about assault. I have been assaulted more than any man on this planet that's still alive. Do I complain? No. So that's a no? You share many qualities with President Trump. You're both iconic American brands. You both have been accused of sexual assault, and you both have been rumored to engage in sex play with bodily waste. Why should Americans vote for you? Well, obviously, forcibly forcing myself on someone, that would be an issue. That's absolutely untrue. As to the rest, what I do sexually, please God, is that not my business? Your body, Who, your choice. Is my body my choice? Why the, you keep touching your gun? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I always do that. Does that concern you? Yeah. Why? No, please. No, no, I'm sorry, because my hand goes there. Everything okay? You guys are cool? Nice Everything's good. If all these right. guys are not cool, we're all in trouble. <laughs> okay, what is... Okay, hypothetically, please don't shoot. What would the hand signal be if you were in trouble? It would be like... No. It's <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so... No. If uh, you're in trouble, I'm part of them. Okay. I, I'm okay. not letting these bastards yes. take all the heat. All right. Why? 
I'm one additional Do gun. you think, now please don't uh, pull out your firearm again without telling yes, me. I'm sorry. Um, do you think that you should have a firearm on you and, and while you're drinking? Yes, I okay. do. Women get shit on a lot in our culture. You know what that's like. I do. I think you would make a better president than Donald Trump. Okay. John McAfee is a Washington outsider who's tired of politics as usual. A tech entrepreneur, alleged murderer, and businessman who might not grab you by the pussy. If you're a woman thinking about voting for Donald Trump in 2020, think again. Women get shit on a lot in our culture, and I know what that tastes like. John? Yes. That was beautiful. Yes. I'd like it again a little softer, and I'd also like you to mention that you're pro-choice. Right. This is, this is actually going way better than I thought. I, I don't think these people are trying to f us. I don't. I think that they're truly going to do one of the greatest documentaries. Let me warm this up. And this is Turner Broadcasting. I mean, this is huge. Hundreds of millions of viewers. Now, this, is, this isn't big here.